Welcome back, Master of Evil 66 here, and we are doing another LEGO Star Wars review. 75256, ages 10 and up, for all you new sequel trilogy fans. The Kylo Ren shuttle, in the correct color this time, comes with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, General Pride, Sith Trooper, First Order Stormtrooper, and two Knights of Ren. Let's take a look at this set built and the figures up close to get this review kicked off. All right, here we are barely getting this thing in frame just like we did with the box. Kylo Ren Shuttle 75256 in the correct color. As you can see, the wings fold up exactly the same way as it did in the previous version, but now it's coming in a lot sleeker color, the correct color black, which is very awesome. It has a couple of blaster turrets up here in the front. It has nice gray panel slash grill pieces there on the side just to connect and have that gray flow throughout the set. The other blasters are gonna be right there. And then as you can see, we have a nice top piece here. Let's we have this top piece all like, uh, I don't know, just detailed off with some smaller fig like pieces here, grill pieces, some snapping pieces, some grill pieces for a car. If we take it on back, oh, as you can see, those do not like to stay closed, but we do have, oh, too far away. We do have some engines here on the back very nice. As you can see, if you hold that at an angle, the wings are going to start to flop out, so they don't stay as sturdy. That's the only downfall there. But it's got some nice engines, and you do use this left one here to open and close those engines. Or not those engines, those wings. So you just twist the right engine to open up the wings. And as some flick flyer missiles. It's just these down here at the bottom. Boom. Boom. Shot them both out. They're green, so they don't really hide in that well, but the Imperials use green for their blasters, so it makes sense. Nice dealing up. Oh, broke it. Nice detailing in the front here. You know, the red. Very nice. And this part here does open up. So here is that closer view here at the interior. We have some buttons on the side. We have a nice chair in the front there with some, what seems to be like a sticker control panel down here at the bottom. Uh, we have these chair, nice detailed pilot's chair, as well as in the back there, you can see we have another chair and then even way back here, another chair. Very nice. Uh, it looks like there's some clips here on the side for the staffs or guns of the crew members that are going to be take parking in this flight. Uh, the other control panel is mirrored there on the side, so you can see there's two on each of them. But there's not too much to do. You can just fit three figures in there, which is nice. It's better than just fitting the typical two in there. But let's move on to how the wings function. So as I said before, if you go to the back and you twist this right knob, it will open and close those wings. So I'm going to move this even farther back because there's also these knobs. these knobs right here. They will twist the wing and then they lock into place after you push them down. This one you twist to the right, lock in place, and then the wings get way bigger. Look at how tall that is. That's way up here. That's insanely tall. Almost as tall as my whole little studio thing. And then you would twist this out and look at that. The wings actually go out like Kylo Ren's shuttle is supposed to. And it looks like a beast. I leave this... Gosh, can I stop hitting it so that way it'll stay in focus? There we go. I leave this thing opened up just like that. All the technic on the inside is kind of hidden. You can't even realize that it's there. Just some nice red detailing on the sides. Very awesome ship. Just to have on display. Like I like it, it's very iconic. It looks good with the wings open. They're not gonna break because of the Technic. 
and it comes with six figures. Very awesome that it comes with a decent amount of figures, and it's probably one of my favorite sets that's released on Force Friday, Triple Force Friday, because it's the only set I picked up on the actual day. Very, very awesome set. The only other one I've gotten is the ATST Raider. All the other sets, I feel like they kind of half, half ate it. But um, yeah, let's move on to what the figures look like up close and personal, one by one. And man, this thing is just, I, it's an awesome set. I'm really glad they remade the color and it's very detailed for the price. All right, and here is the first out of six figures. It's just a normal First Order Stormtrooper. I don't think there are any updates to its printing. No arm printing, uh, leg printing's the same, chest printing's the same. Standard clone face underneath and just an awesome head. I really, really like these First Order Troopers. They look very menacing. I mean, even though they don't do much in the series, in the new sequel trilogy, they are very cool looking Lego minifigures, and it's cool to have an army of them just like the Imperial Stormtroopers. So, not too much to say about this one. Let's move on to the second figure here. All right, and here we are with the second figure. It's going to be General Pride, spelled with a Y, and um, he just looks like a Grand Moff Tarkin, someone that could be in the First Order uh, army for a very long time, knows the ways around it, and is underneath the command of Kylo Ren, kind of like how Grand Moff Tarkin was maybe... Maybe not like Vader, but Grand Moff Tarkin was a little bit above him. I don't know, this guy might come into play in this movie a lot. But it's very nice that we got another older, kind of more menacing-looking commanding officer in the First Order Army. Not too many of those. No arm or leg printing, just some very generic belt and chest printing. And if we come to the back, it's continued. I like his hairpiece, very nice, but then he also has a nice angry look here to the back if i can get that to focus on the back of his head there so he does have two facial expressions which is nice to have and let's move on to the third figure and this is going to be the first knights of ren figure that is included in the set very menacing almost has a grim reaper look to it very nice light gray printing and looks like to be like some buttons or something there in the middle of that chest print it's continued down to the legs and through the waist, which is very clean and nice. He has this weird mask on his facial print, but it looks great with that new hood piece. Like, I like it on this figure. I don't know how I feel about it for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Death Star Cannon, but this figure looks awesome with it. He comes with a nice staff there. Very awesome axe with a red lightsaber hilt. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. And he comes with a cape. And if you're wondering if he does have any back printing, he does. It's continued on with some robes. Very nice. And it is the old texture print, or pff, texture print, the old texture of cape with the material they used, not the cloth sil silky material. But... Really like this Knights of Ren. Let's move on to the second one in the set. Now this one, this one looks crazy. It, it looks like a suicide bomber because he has all the thermal detonators. One in his hand. It comes with two of those printed pieces. If I can get that to focus. Let's see. Will it focus? Well, you can see it kind of while I'm twirling it around. And then it has a couple more there on his belt across his chest print, a nice robe printing down into his legs as well as across the waist. His head, it's just a black head underneath, but he has this awesome helmet print. He just looks really menacing. No other real Knights of Ren I feel like has that look to it, but it's a nice new mold for a helmet and he comes with like this red Black lightsaber hilt, red bar, almost like a staff it looks like, maybe a lightsaber sort of looking thing, but then it's a mace on the top with the studs. It's just confusing. I'm going to have to wait and see what it's like in the new Star Wars movie, but he also has his harness connected here on the back of his printing there. Very awesome print all around. Just wish there was some better arm printing because there's none on it. 
But let's move on to the fifth figure here in the set. The fifth figure here included in the set is going to be Kylo Ren. And he has some awesome row printing on the front and his leggings. Like, that's awesome. It looks like chainmail almost. And then his mask is fixed. It has the red, like, fusion marks from what we think is Darth Vader's helmet. He has no arm printing and the back printing is very generic. But the cracked red just goes all the way around there on his helmet, which is really nice. Really good detailing and just a nice you know triple bladed lightsaber as usual from kylo ren if you take the head off he doesn't come with hair but he does have let's get that to focus a menacing look there on the front and then almost a grim look on the back but he has that awesome scar there across that right eye of his and it's just very awesome great detailing for this fig and the first kylo ren that i have bought for myself it's just, it's really, really cool. I'm glad that he has the uh, awesome helmet fusion. And let's move on to the the sixth, I almost said fifth, sixth figure of the set to end off this review. And it's probably the most hyped up figure throughout the wave. And that most hyped up figure is the Sith Trooper. Oh man, look at that new blaster pistol. It has an under handle to clip on and then a red lightsaber hilt for the scope, which makes it extra awesome he has a first order stormtrooper like look for his helmet but there's none of that insignia on it he's just all in red and the red and black looks sleek he has all those chest pockets all those waist pockets all the way down to his leg with some knee pads no arm printing again but you know lego eventually will catch on that we want that as well and then he has a normal sith clone slash you know imperial stormtroopers slash first order stormtrooper head they're just all the same and the belt printing continues onto the back but it's different than the normal first order trooper if you want to compare this is the one next to it it does not look the same i like that they made them different because they are different and these are probably going to be like imperial guards but better because they have blasters instead of staves so they will be able to take out anything guarding Kylo Ren, the Supreme Chancellor, or General Pride. Maybe it's those troopers. I don't know. I'm excited for Episode 9. I hope you guys are. The new set release during this wave of, I believe it was October, was crazy. Just, oh man. This Kylo Ren shuttle, the ATST Raider for the Mandalorian coming out in November. Just all that stuff is getting me super excited. I just wish they would have came out with some more unique type of ships during this set release. In this wave, more like uh, scene related, but that probably would come after the movie in like a January slash February set release. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed all these figures. I hope you guys enjoyed this set because I really like having it on display. It looks awesome. Leave your personal opinions down in the comment section below. Uh, use your personal opinion by using the like or dislike button letting me know how you guys like this review. And lastly, subscribe, so that way you can see more of my minifigure hauls, uh, set hauls, what I do's, building live streams, gaming, <sighs> reviews. Oh my gosh, there's so many different things. Just all that stuff's found here on the channel. Blind bag openings, it's just crazy out here. So don't miss any of it by subscribing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Master View 66 out.